counting down to first pitch here at PNC Park. Major League Baseball on the show is next. A look there at one of the newest and best ballparks in all the land, PNC Park in Pittsburgh, as MLB The Show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, the third of this four-game series, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Happy to be with you here for this one. And as always, I'm joined by Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Hud, we turn to you first. What are you going to be keeping an eye on in this matchup here? Well, one guy who has to be reckoned with here is Hanley Ramirez. If you go by the numbers in the major categories, this guy should be an MVP candidate every single year. Look for him to have a big impact in this one. All right, Rex, we'll hear from Dave in a moment, but first let's get to our starting lineup for the visiting Florida Marlins. It comes to us courtesy of our friends at State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. Set to face these guys, there you see the numbers for the six foot four inch right-hander out of the Atlanta organization, Charlie Morton. And a look now at how the Pirates line up on D behind him. And Johnny Damon is on his way to the box as we're just about ready for baseball. the first pitch of the night taken for ball one as we're underway in Pittsburgh. Oh, first pitch of the night and he's already squeezing that zone. First pitch, 7 -05. And he misses again, 2-0. and Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. the 2-0 and he's flying open a bit soup that misses high ball three three straight balls to begin the game he doesn't look like he's settled in yet taking all the way that time it's three and one yeah just get that fastball over anything to avoid a four pitch walk to start the game Called a strike and it's full three and two. And now he's seen five pitches, but he hasn't taken the bat off his shoulder. And Damon lays off as that misses for ball four, so he's on here to get this one started. And it's deep breath time out on the mound now. Not only will he kick himself for walking the leadoff guy, but also he just walked the fastest guy in a 10-mile radius. Not what he wanted to do. Chris Coglin will dig in here. In the air to right center. Under it now is Millage as he puts it away for the first down. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. If you can keep planting that pitch there, you'll be in good shape. Trying to run. 
Outside for a ball, one and one. Not quite a pitch out there, but a fastball up and away is the perfect pitch for a catcher to throw on if need be. Now the one and one pitch. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Ooh, he almost kneecapped him there. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. There to take it in is McCutcheon now for route number two. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. And they'll try and pitch out here, but Damon stays put at first. Wheels are spinning now. Damon leads, here's the pitch, and it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. And he's had a pretty good look at those first two pitches. Be aware, 2-0. And he gets this fastball over, it's 2-1. And, and you wonder if maybe he was taken there because he thought his runner was going to be moving from first. And a foul ball straight back. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. Oh, look at LaRoche. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity no score. Starting lineup for John Russell and the host Pirates looks like this. And on the mound to face this lineup, there you see the numbers for the hard-throwing right-hander Josh Johnson. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. See the leadoff man Andrew McCutcheon as he'll start us out in the home first. Goes after the first one here and sends it on the ground for Ugla at second. And they have trouble with it in right center. Akinora Iwamura will get his first cuts here. And now here's a ball foul. grounded foul over toward third. And this one will be out of play off to the left. That misses one and two. That works almost like a pitch out there, just in case he's thinking about it. Swing and a miss from Iwamura as he's retired and there's one away. 
and we'll show you this delivery again in show motion. A lot of people think that when a guy throws hard, it's all about the arm. But you can see how big and strong this guy is. So he uses those legs to really drive through the release. That's nice. So a runner on first with one out now. And here's the young catcher, Ryan Domit. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Huh. Now a one fastball ball. for a called strike. It's one and one. Yeah, good crossfire action on the fastball there. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And he likes to throw that slider off the fastball. Might want to make a middle note of that one. Runner at first here, one man out. Here he comes on two and one. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Ross is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. And I would imagine he was really geared for the fastball there, but he got something off speed, so he was out on his front foot a bit and took this to his pull field for an easy fly out. Garrett Jones will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And he starts him out with, well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. Oh. Right, it looked to me like it could have gone either way, and that certainly gives the hitter a leg up in the rest of this at bat. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Boy, there's the value of speed in the bases. The distraction over at first is very valuable to the guy at the plate. And there's ball three. He's lost the zone out there a little. He might still be stewing about that first pitch being called a ball. Drag on out there. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Well, sometimes early in the game, righties will have trouble locating the ball against left-handers, and this winds up being a two-out walk. So it's first and second with two men gone, and stepping in now, the left fielder, Ryan Church. Ball one. And these guys better hope his location clears itself up pretty soon. Two men are on with two men out. And 2-0 and oh as this one's taken low. And this is the time you want to get a jump on this guy if you can. Get him while he's still getting settled. This one's over at the knees, two and one. And that's a good sign there. When he's using the slider to set up the two-seamer, it gives him a lot of weapons on the mound. Now the two-one pitch. Now ball hit toward third, but this is gonna wind up a foul ball. And a 
Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Nothing in the Pirate first. We're on to the second now in Pittsburgh. No score on the show. Jorge Cantu leads things off now in the top half of the second. Hit hard towards second, and he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. Right out of the windup and right into the stretch on the first pitch of the second. I guarantee you that's not what he had in mind when he was throwing his warm-up pitches. Cody Ross will be the batter. And, oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. And he's tallied just one hit here in the series so far. One for eight. A runner at first with no outs here. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. and oh. And let's see if he goes to his comfort zone now. That fastball down and away. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Here's the 2-1 pitch. In there, 2-2. Two two. Maybe looking for something away. He gave up on that one. Nobody out, runner on first. Lined into left field, and that's a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. A couple of guys in scoring position here to start things out, and this has all the makings of a beginning here in the second. Wes Helms will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Looked like he lost the handle on a breaking pitch, one and one. Really got to jump on this guy now while he's rattled. One, one on the way. One and two now. Oh, and one thing you just can't have here at the plate is a strikeout. Tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Going right back in there again, one and two. This one a few inches further in, and he's able to lay off. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. The run is in. You want to talk about a guy putting his all into a throw? Watch this. Now that is what you call effort.
John Baker will get his first shot at it here. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. He's ready now, the pitch. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. And these are important at bats here because here's a chance to get to a young pitcher early and force that manager to get someone up in the bullpen. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Runners at the corners here. Nobody out. Ooh. Off speed pitch. Good for strike two. Here's the two and two offering. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Iwamura on to first and it's a double play although the run does come into score from third. Well, no RBI in the play, but the double play is enough to get the runner in from third. Josh Johnson will be the batter. Here's the first offering. In there, and it's 0-1. And this is what he needs to do a little more of. Establish that heater early in the count. And this is taken for a ball inside. Don't know exactly where that would have missed, but it's 1-1. One and one. And Doc Bryant's known for having a high strike zone, so sometimes you won't get that call at the knees. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And you got a pitcher up there that's barely hitting his waist size. Throw him a strike. A two one offering. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Uh, and the one thing you cannot afford to do is to extend this inning by walking the pitcher. And it misses ball four. And he's just committed the cardinal sin there, Dave, of walking the opposing pitcher. And now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach, so he's got to make a judgment call out there. You can go out and be nice and calm and try to calm him down some, or you can be fiery and challenge him. Good pitching coaches know the right time for each. Back to the top of the order now, and in steps the left-handed hitting Johnny Damon. in there for strike one and no threat to run over there at first so with two away you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy and a curveball 79 miles an hour it's in there oh and two no taking now he's gonna have to swing the bat 
A runner on first with two away. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Marlins two, and the Pirates nothing. Andy LaRoche will start things off in the bottom of the second. but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now the pitch. Swing the ball line softly down the line and left. And the Pirates have their first base hit. And it bounces around down there now. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. And this is still just a two-run deficit, so that's good work there to find a seam leading off the inning. Now that'll at least bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out. Lastings Millage will get his first opportunity now. Now a ground ball towards the hole, and that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he will get in there with their first run. It's a 2-1 to -one game now. Boy, don't go to the bathroom when these guys are at the plate because they can score in a heartbeat. Hits on two consecutive pitches here get them a very quick run. Ronnie Cedeno digs in at the plate. First pitch coming. Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. Not a bad idea to work him up and in here with that hard stuff. And here's a very close pitch up around the letters. Looked good, but it's a ball one and one. Man! He took something off of it there. It's one and two. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. Well, he stayed out of the double play. That's the good news. The bad news is this flyout didn't achieve anything. Charlie Morton will step in now. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. And they'll have to go to Ugla covering the bag at first as the sacrifice is a good one. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. 
When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. Andrew McCutcheon will take his cuts now. Now the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. I don't blame him for taking that. That is some heavy-duty heat right there. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And a nice job of keeping that runner right where he is. Two out here and a runner at second. In there, one and two now. Boy, this has been a good sequence to this point. Let's see if they try and punch him out. It's in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Hmm. And here's a spot where, with two strikes, you're just trying to get a guy to fish for something. But instead, this gets away and moves the runner up 90 feet. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Ross will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins lead it 2-1. to one. Chris Coughlin will step in. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. Hard hit towards center. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And he is in the third base here with a leadoff triple. And a great job here by the number two hitter in the lineup getting something started here with the leadoff triple. And now you'd have to think that someone in that 3-4-5 spot could get him in. Hanley Ramirez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now pitch swung on and foul tipped right off the mask. It sounded like of the home plate umpire and that cannot feel too good, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, we could hear that one from up here. Give him a second, he'll be all right. Ready? Now the pitch. Fouled back. Go get him, Down the line, but this is a foul ball. And Ramirez is able to hold off on that one, but he still trails in the count. It's one and two. And on the mound, you just have to forget about that runner at third and just work on getting three outs. It's tough for any pitcher to work out of this without that run scoring. Yeah. 
Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Slice down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Thought he might have had a shot to score, but he took the safe route and hung on at third. Dan Ugla will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they'll open up a 3-1 to one lead. Oh, this is what you want to do offensively when you got your ace going? Get him some early runs, hopefully take the life right out of this crowd. And things are looking good for him early. So a runner at first with one man gone. And standing in the dangerous first baseman, Jorge Cantu. From the stretch. Got him reaching for the first pitch as this is pushed foul off to the right. 0-1. Now a hard liner. But this will be a foul ball. Runners on first with one down. He waits. Now the pitch. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. Yeah, that's a good two-strike pitch. And he's still got some count leverage here, so he doesn't need to challenge here either. And boy, I was waiting for him to get rung up there, but it never happened. Two and two now. Hard to make two better pitches than that. One that just missed, one that I'm not so sure. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. And already we're seeing a lot of deep counts early in the ball game. These can really start to pile up if you're not careful. Now a move over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. Full count offering on its way. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Let's get you a shot of this reaction at the plate and show motion. You think you like this call? Oh, come on. Cody Ross will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Boy, and a good job anticipating that pitch in the dirt. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. Got to make sure you finish off your pitches here. These last few have taken off on him a bit. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Now a fastball is hit on the ground towards second. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Marlins three and the Pirates one. Akinora Iwamura will lead things off in the inning for Pittsburgh, followed next by Ryan Domit.
Iwamura swinging, and this is sent on the ground to second. Ugla's throw is right there for the first out. Ryan Domit will try it again. He flew out his first time. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Ball two. And you can kind of see he's daring him to throw a fastball now. Three and zero oh, as that misses up and in. And now on three and zero, oh, we'll see if John Russell lets him swing. Hey. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that three zero oh pitch to be in the zone, and I especially wasn't expecting it to be there. Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Waiting for it now is Ramirez, and he's got it for out number two. Ah, oh, and when you're ahead in the count, this is all about bailing a pitcher out and doing him a favor. He'll take the pop up there. That's a gift. Garrett Jones will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. Oh. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. And he takes a cold strike one. And now that he's warmed up a little more, he's getting a little more oomph on that fastball than he had out of the gate. Now a swing and a ball grounded fouled off to the right side. The pitch. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. And now's where I think you have to sit change up and react fastball. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. On now to the top of inning number four. The Marlins lead this one three to one. Wes Helms will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Yeah. 
swings right over the top of that one, two and one. I had a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. The one thing you don't want to do is walk the leadoff guy and give the Marlins a base runner. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Don't know how to say it much plainer than this. Lead-off walks will kill you. You gotta be careful here. John Baker will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Iwamura on the first, but no, not in time as he really took a tumble at second base letting go of that ball. Ball hit a little too slowly that time. Good job to get the lead runner at second, but there just wasn't enough time to get them both. Josh Johnson will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. And they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. But this is foul for the first strike. And this one's going to kick foul, so now Freddy Gonzalez will have a decision to make here with two strikes. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On to first, and there are two down. This is pretty much a swing and bunt right here. If this is a faster guy, it could be trouble. But luckily, this is one of the slowest guys in the stadium, so they throw him out easily. Johnny Damon will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And no one will track it down. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Oh, and he's got a legitimate gripe there. I don't know about that one. From the belt, the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? low so a good eye there as he works the count back full and you don't want this inning to go any further than this so I think he'll probably get something to hit here well hit deep down the right field line and foul though it had the home run distance Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. 
And this will get down and should be extra bases for Damon. And now this will rattle up against the fence. And the runner will score from second. And Damon's going to be in there at third with a triple. And he'll be kicking himself here just a strike away from stranding that runner at second. But this ball finds the gap out there. And now he'll have to deal with the runner on third and two away. Chris Coughlin will step in. He tripled and subsequently scored last time around. First pitch coming. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. And he's trying to pick up RBI number 39 if he could drive in this guy from scoring position. is a curveball that's over for strike one. If you're going to try to get that guy to fish for a curveball down there, you better make sure you can keep it in front of you. Hit hard, but foul. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And now you've got to make sure you can strand that runner at third base. Now a fastball, and he might have gotten under it just a bit as this is out toward deep right field. And Millage will make the catch, and the side is retired. Marlins get a run on the RBI triple. Bottom of the fourth coming up is now 4-1 to one Florida. A look at the National League scoreboard as we get the latest on what's happening in the senior circuit. Ryan Church will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. And he gets ahead 0-1. And this is taken by Church to even the count at one and one. One one pitch on the way. And he lays off for a ball two and one. And, one. and this Pirates ball club would certainly love a leadoff walk to start the inning. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Fouled back. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. 
Might be trying to give that run they just scored right back to him. Now he's into the stretch right away. Andy LaRoche will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. But sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. 4-1 our score as we play inning number four. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Ah, look at Ramirez. What a flip for one. On to Cantu, but this will be too late as they get just the one out. Worth a second look here. Not only does he knock the thing down, but great presence of mind to get the ball quickly to second. That's just a perfect play. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Lastings Millage. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Good setup there on the inside part of the plate. If they're smart, they'll keep trying to lock him up in there. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Well, came right back to it. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Oh, look at how late he is on this one. That ball's on his back hip pocket by the time he gets the barrel through. She got to make a commitment to swing the bat a little earlier against a guy throwing in the mid 90s. Ronnie Cedeno will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And that misses for ball one. Yeah, and that's a good spot to try to get somebody to pop the ball up. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And this will be fouled away. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Cantu is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So they pick up no run on no hit, no errors, and one man left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Marlins four and the Pirates one. DJ Carrasco is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Hanley Ramirez will get things going here for Florida with Dan Ugla to follow. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Woo, almost untied his shoelaces with that one. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. And he's got a tough task here going through the three, four, and five, so you hate to fall behind the first guy. And this is fouled straight back.
Here's the two and one pitch. And he misses again, ball three. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Well, you've got one job to do on the mound right now. Do not let this deficit get any wider than three. So that's a good job to set down that leadoff man right there. So one gone now for Dan Ugla. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And a swing and a miss as Ugla falls behind here quickly 0-2. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Oh, great pitch on 0 2. That's not an easy take. One two pitch is a curveball that misses two and two. Yeah, battled him back to even. Now you got to think about that slider running away. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, he is really making him work out there. Fifth inning here in a 4 to 1 ball game. The 3 2 pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Hit number two for him in the ballgame, and number seven now in the series. Man, he's working on player of the week numbers. Jorge Cantu will stand in, called out on strikes his last time. First pitch to him. Low for ball one. And can two won't offer it that one either. It's two and zero. Swing and a hard liner to center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. The relay throw. And he'll make it over to third base safely, so that puts runners at the corners with only one gone. Well, you can tell he's just not loose out there yet. Just not in the groove. Sometimes that'll happen. Everything feels great in the pin. Then when you come out to the mound, you can't find a handle on anything. Cody Ross will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. He's set, now the pitch. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. And that misses, 2-0. and oh. And if you're looking for a pitch up to hit a fly ball here, I don't think you're gonna get one.
The 2-0 is a fastball high, and it's 3-0. Whoa, he got his pitch up after all. Wes Helms will be next, barring a double play ball. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And now this is a good time for a catcher to come out and try to calm down his pitcher a bit. He's got to be telling him, hey, look, get us a ground ball, and we'll be right back in the dugout. So it's bases loaded, one away, and digging in now the third baseman, Wes Helms. Now here's the first pitch. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. And the one piece of good news here, this guy's a double play waiting to happen. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And two and two. And the good news is they have the bases loaded, but the bad news is this guy is a definite double play candidate. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Now the 2-2 pitch. And this is bounced weakly down the line, a foul ball. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Oh, and lucky for him, he was able to find that pitch when he needed it. Now with two away, the infield can back up and take the force at any base. John Baker will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. Swing and a ground ball, and this should get him out of it. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins can't cash in here, and that ends the inning. So it's no run on two hits, no errors, and three men left on base. Last half of the fifth coming up. Florida's out in front, 4-1. to one. And we're going to have a pinch hitter come on now. The switch hitter, Delwyn Young, gets the assignment. First pitch on the way. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. And, oh my goodness, that was strike three right there. Man, one and two. And I think Young just got another life there. Now a ball hit back up the middle. A diving effort there by Ramirez, but he can't quite get there. It's a base hit. Well, and you can't ask for much more than that. 
They turn to the bench here, and he comes through with a knock. That is nice work. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Liner foul into the seats down the right side. Comes set, now the pitch. Back to back fastballs here as he takes control 0 and 2. And a foul ball straight back. And he misses there, one and two. He's set, now the pitch. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. There to take it in is Coughlin, and there's your first out. Well, good pitching and good defense go hand in hand. Your pitchers have the confidence to know that if they put it in play, your guys are going to go get it. Good catch on the move there. Akinora Iwamura will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. Runner at first here, one man out. As a look, now the pitch. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball and it's still 0-2. Now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. And if guys are going to go ahead and wear that armor on their elbow, they better expect to get backed off the plate every now and then. He's ready now, the pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And he's just starting to dig his own hole at the plate right now. That's the second time he's struck out in the ball game, and you can see on swing track he needs to be more selective up there. Ryan Domit will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Third time through the lineup for these guys now, and they haven't done a whole lot to this point. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And Domit able to hold off there. It's a ball and two strikes. And here's where he likes to bust guys in with that slider. That could be coming next. Two out with the man at first. Now a fastball swung on and missed. And that is out number three. 
So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Marlins four and the Pirates one. So a pitching change now as the right-hander Vinny Chulk comes in. Josh Johnson will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Now it looks like a right-hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Yeah, and when you get strike one on the corner, you can expand that strike zone right away. Here's the pitch. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. O2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. The catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. Well, you've got one job to do on the mound right now. Do not let this deficit get any wider than three. So that's a good job to set down that leadoff man right there. Leadoff man retired now for Johnny Damon. Pretty well hit, deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. And this is ripped down the first baseline. And a step on first himself for the out. Good sign there as he's able to set down the first two men to greet him here in the sixth. And seeing as though his club's down by three runs, he could really use a 1-2-3 inning here. Chris Coughlin will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Fastball in there for a called strike. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. One one a fastball high, two and one now. And that's what that four seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a curveball here is banged into center field, and he'll reach on a base hit. And they just can't get this guy out. That's his second hit of the ball game in seventh of the series. He's wearing him out. Hanley Ramirez will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. LaRoche is there, and the side is retired. 
One left for Florida, but they lead it 4-1. to one. Garrett Jones will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. In there, and it's even at one. And this part of the order needs to really step things up. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Line hard to center field. Closing quickly here as he slides to make the catch. And that's a fine play. Well, this ball's sinking quickly, and he doesn't want to go for the shoestring catch. So this is a nice job to tuck himself into a slide and put it away. Leadoff man retired now for Ryan Church. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And now here in the sixth down three, you've got to get something cooking soon. And he lays off for ball one. And even though he's spinning a gem, he's still going to need to avoid that home run ball, so location is still going to be important. Now the 1-1. One, one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And this is a good time in the ball game to be selective. Go ahead and run that pitch count up a bit. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this. Just get it over. <laughs> fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Right back inside with the fastball. This time he got the call. Here's the payoff pitch. And a close pitch there, but the home plate umpire, Doc Bryant, has a fever, and his prescription is ball four. Starting to get tired out there, no doubt about it. You see the numbers right there? Three walks allowed now, and he might be about to hit the wall pretty soon. So a runner at first now with one away, and digging in is the third baseman, Andy LaRoche. Ball. Very easy to lay off that one. It's ball one. And this guy's double earlier in the ball game has been their only extra base hit so far. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Now a ball mined to the right side. And LaRoche is aboard. It's a base hit. Not too many guys have made solid contact so far, but that's pretty solid right there. Lastings Millage will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time.
taken outside for ball one. And this guy's RBI in the second inning still stands as their lone tally of the game. Two and oh. And he does have the base open here, but even with one out, I'd imagine they'll still come right after him. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. Damon is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. But too late, and he's safe at third. We'll get an RBI in this ball, but this almost was much more than that as it took a great running catch to take away extra bases. Lonnie Cedeno will bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. and And it's only August, but this game has a little bit of a playoff feel to it. Yeah! 1-0 on the way. And that's right there, and we're even at 1. And now if you can get this guy, the pitcher's spot would be due up to lead off the bottom of the 7th. No contact there, and it's one and two. And he's got six strikeouts tonight, but you can bet he'll be gunning for number seven right here. And that misses two and two. Sets the 2-2 pick. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And this is what you want against a guy that's tired. Really grind out the at-bat. Oh, yeah. And he oh. struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Pirates two. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. Dan Ugla will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays off 1-0. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. And, oh, looked to be a strike on the monitor up here, but that's why I'm not an umpire. It's two and one. 
Boy, that looked pretty good. You hate to give this guy extra strikes to work with. And here's a pitch that Ugla's able to lay off, and he's got it to three and one now. And now you've got to make this a strike. You can't have a leadoff walk in the late innings of a two-run game. Misses with it, ball four, and if there's one thing that'll drive a manager nuts, it's the leadoff walk. And I think these guys are at the point of the series where they've seen enough of this guy swinging the bat. You can go ahead and have first. Jorge Cantu will get another shot now, two for three in the game. Line hard, but this is a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. He's ready, now the pitch. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. And he knew on that 0-2 count he didn't have to throw him a strike, at least not right away. But on 2-2 two and two now, I think he's going to have to come in with one. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, half of his night at the plate's been good. He's got two hits, but he's also had two strikeouts. Cody Ross will stand in, base on balls his last time. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time, strike one. And this guy's hitting just 200 for the series, so he's in need of a base hit right here. Swing and a bullet to the right side. But this is speared by the first baseman. Yeah, late swing on the fastball that time. Almost worked out for him, but this finds that big glove down there at first. Wes Helms will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Here's a fastball called for strike one. And he's just two for nine in the series thus far, so he could use a base hit here. A runner on first with two away. He waits. Now the pitch. And he misses with it one and one. And he misses two and one. And man alive, that looked awfully good from up here. Three and one, though. Ah, oh, come on already. Fouled back. Hit hard to the left side. 
in there, a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And this will add on to their lead. It's now a 5-2 ball game. Well, the decision to run from first is really going to wind up paying dividends that time. I don't know if he scores if he's not running, but since he's on the move, he's able to score from first on the double. John Russell's going to head to home plate now, so it would appear we'll see a double switch here. Javier Lopez will slide in now and try and work out of this one. John Baker steps in now. In there, 0-1. And, and this is their fourth pitcher of the night, so there's not much left after this. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that is into right field. The base hit. The throw home. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. And this looked to be a promising beginning for him on the mound as he was able to get ahead of the first batter he faced. But then a little slip up there as this pitch gets driven for a base hit and an RBI. Emilio Bonifacio will step in now. Switch hitter batting from the right side here. Here's the first offering. And there's the fastball from Lopez. It's strike one. And this is where it really pays off to be a switch hitter, as he won't have to contend with that funky sidearm motion. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll reach over his head to make the play, and a sparkling play it was to end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Stretch time coming up here in Pittsburgh. The Marlins lead it 6-2. to two. So a new pitcher will come on now as we see the right-hander Jose Veras take over. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 49, Jose Bobby Crosby will start out the inning here for the Pirates to be followed by Andrew McCutcheon waiting on deck. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Coglin is under it to tuck this one away, and it's a one pitch out to begin the home half of the seventh. And dude, when it's late in the game and you're losing, why are you swing at the first pitch and helping the guy out? Come on now. So one away in the inning now for the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Hey! 
split fingered pitches in there for strike one. Yeah, he just drops that splitty right in there. Pitch on the way. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Mm, I think that's the one he wanted to swing at, but he wouldn't do it. Two-two pitch on the way. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. And as a hitting coach, that's what you want your hitters to do. Hit the ball right back up the middle. You get into bad habits when you try to pull everything, but here he just stays right on it and picks up a solid one-out single. Akinora Iwamura will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. Misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. And when you need a double play ball, I don't see the logic of working this guy up in the zone. Runners on first with one down. And this one misses to Aki as well. He's in a good spot now, up 2-0. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a 3-6-1 to six to one double play. And the side is retired. Johnny Damon will lead off when we return. They lead it 6-2. Evan Meek is on now out of the bullpen as he'll make his 70th appearance so far this year. Johnny Damon will get another crack, one for three thus far. And that misses ball one. And this is the fifth pitcher they've used in the ball game. So that bullpen's getting awfully lonely down there. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. There's ball two now. Well, judging by his release point there, he just doesn't look like he's totally warm yet. Ready with the 2-1. And he missed again, high and away this time, 3-1. and one. And you can afford to be careful here with a four-run lead, but you really don't want to be walking people at this stage. Takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Oh, 
And this is hit well towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Well, Crosby's got pretty good range for his size, but he just can't quite get to that one. A great effort, though. Chris Coughlin will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. and oh. And you can tell they're thinking, do not let him extend his arms. Keep pitching him tight. Now the 2-0. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. And now this will rattle up against the fence. And the runner will score from first. Well, you put good hitters in good hitters counts, and this is what happens. He's on this thing all the way, and he gets himself an RBI double. Hanley Ramirez will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ballgame. And this is going to be just fouled down the line as that had double written all over it. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. And, and you'd think for all the offense these guys have put together, he'd be an integral part of it. Not tonight, though. No one out with a runner at second. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And these guys have really scratched out their seven runs. None have come via the long ball. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And that's going to be high two and two now. And they have pretty much been able to completely neutralize his power so far. And this is swung on and missed that time by Ramirez. A strikeout victim and there's one away. Boy, and they've held him to an 0 for 5 in this one. He's been neutralized. Dan Ugla will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And this is a guy that's already been on base three times tonight. Got to keep him in check. in on the hands that time, one and one. And it looks like it's just sort of taking him a while to find his rhythm. Right. Fouled straight back. Lays off two and two now.
One out and a runner on second base. And ring him up. Strike three called on the fastball, and there are two gone. Well, and you have to remember that even the best hitters in baseball fail seven times out of ten. This is just a great pitch in a great spot, so that's one where you just tip your hat and move on. Jorge Cantu will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Fast ball, probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball, 1-0. and oh. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. Hmm, maybe could have appealed that one, I don't know. Here he comes on two and one. Fouled back. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Another 2-2 offering. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Marlins seven and the Pirates two. Ryan Domit will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Looked pretty good on the monitor, but it's ruled a ball inside, 1-0. and oh. And with the 3, 4, and 5 guys due up, it would seem to be now or never time. They've got to get something going. Looked like a breaking ball there, but it missed badly, 2-0. and oh. And when you're struggling to score runs, you really need the heart of your order to get something started. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And now you got to get inside a pitcher's head. What's he going to come with on two and two? Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Hey. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And he's having a rough go of it so far. His second strike out of the ball game, and you can see him gesturing that he thinks that pitch was outside. Uh, looked pretty good to me, though. Garrett Jones will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Hey! And a cold strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. And this crowd really hasn't been much of a factor here to this point.
and this is high, a ball and a strike. And I know they don't want to flirt with another one up in the zone here. Now the one and one pitch. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Just got to find some way to get on base here. One out, nobody on. And this is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. The 2-2 coming. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, 3-2. And, and a walk's not the worst thing in the world here. This run doesn't mean a thing. And the curveball drops too low. They lost him. It's ball four. And boy, those last few pitches there were nowhere close to the strike zone. When you've got two strikes on a guy, you've got a little more margin for error, but not that much. Ryan Church will stand in. Right there for strike one. And these guys are really starting to look like a team that's defeated. They're not even offering at good pitches right now. Pause, now the pitch. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0-2. And one thing you can say about him on the mound, he certainly has been the aggressor in this at bat, coming right after him. job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two and that's not a bad pitch but not quite tantalizing enough to swing at low for a ball as he battles back from down 0-2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now two pitch fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts now this is not shaping up to be a night to write home about that's for sure Andy LaRoche will get another shot now two for three in the game Now a fastball, and it's hit on the ground to short. They'll go the short way to Ugla for the force out, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. The Marlins on top, 7-2. to two. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Joel Hanrahan is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Cody Ross will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Cody 
And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And now pitch on the way. Fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. Still no home runs in the ballgame on either side of the scorecard. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. low so a good eye there as he works the count back full and he might walk a guy or two but it's not because he's intimidated he'll come right at you now the three and two pitch good biting slider there hit on the ground down to third barehanded pickup by LaRoche throw in the dirt but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired there you see, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the bottom half of the ninth, so they'll certainly have their work cut out for them as they try to get back in this one. Wes Helms will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Good action on that two-seam fastball. That started off the plate and moved all the way over. Bases are empty. One man out. That's on the outside corner, one and two. And he's just throwing darts now. They have not been able to pick him up. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Ready with another 2 2. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Jones is over now and he's got it for route number two. John Baker will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. hit sharply toward the third base coaching box a foul ball and over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stands ready with another 0-2 good waste pitch 1-2 yeah, trying to change the sight line there. That's a smart way to work. Yeah. 
And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine due up in the bottom of inning number nine. Florida's out in front, seven to two. Lasting's Millage will step in, one for two in the ballgame. Now the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. and And here in the ninth, it's going to take all hands on deck if these guys want to make a game of it. This is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. Josh Johnson in line for the W if the lead holds throughout. And that misses two and one. All in all, a pretty depressing night for these fans. This one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And I can guarantee these guys would love to get a little spark here from the bottom of the order. Now a ball hit hard but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. Now the three and two pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Mm, high heat. Not even sure that's in the zone, but he couldn't catch up to it. Adam Dunn will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. And the last thing you want to do here is hit a guy to get a possible rally started in the ninth. one -oh pitch now. Now a swing and a ground ball. Throw. Got him. And that's a gorgeous play. One out away from wrapping this one up now. I think this one's all over but the shouting. Bobby Crosby is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. There to take it is Ugla on the first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Well, and that's a good job out of the bullpen here to close this one down. They left him out there for a few innings, but he was able to earn the save and relief. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, Matt, a three-hit ball game for him, and a couple of those were key hits as he swung the bat very well in this one. So that'll just about do it for Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire San Diego-based flight crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here tonight. This has been a presentation of MLB 10 The Show. For more, don't forget to check us out online at MLB10theshow.com. The Marlins win it 7-2. A full recap of the night's action is next. Now for all of us at the show.